hi what's up it's your boy sports wizard and welcome back to another video on my channel today we're going to be doing Djokovic versus anderson one more than second run so let's get right into it my prediction Djokovic and sports that score on 6-4-6-4-6-3 mode easy so yeah you guys already know um back in 2018 Djokovic and anderson played in the Wimbledon final and some of you guys might be shocked for the scoreline, but I mean, let's like, think about it because even at Anderson's peak of power, also in 2018 when he reached the final, Djokovic still beat him in straight sets. If I'm not mistaken, it was like 6 4, 6 4, 7 6 or something like that. But Djokovic still beat him in straight sets. So I'm just thinking like now, like Anderson is nowhere close to the peak of his power, and Djokovic just remained the same throughout like the like five years or something so i still think that Djokovic will definitely smash him up you know not smash that bad but six four six four six three seems about right for me and yeah without further ado let's get into the analyzation so Djokovic has 19 grand slams 84 titles he won all of the masters 1000 at least twice he also won all of the grand slams at least twice Djokovic is currently number one in the world Djokovic is an aggressive base runner. he has good grand strokes he has the best backhand on tour arguably uh, he has a good serve that's flat he's a good returner he's good in the crucial moments he's also good at coming back and playing under pressure he's a good mover and he can do both the offense and defense Djokovic he doesn't have a good smash his temper can cause problems and he maybe takes the ball a little too early Djokovic won Wimbledon five times he also opened three times Austrian opened nine times and French opened twice whereas Kevin Anderson he went to the Austrian Open and Roland Garros fourth one and Wimbledon he also opened final um anderson has six titles he's number 100 in the world and the highest rank was number five in the world anderson has a good serve he has a good forehand he's an attacker and he has flat ground strokes the hat to is nine to djokovic and grass is three zero djokovic and in woman it's also three zero djokovic so yeah in the first set djokovic will go aggressive he's gonna hit a lot of winners he's gonna hit a lot of aces you know he's gonna come to the net maybe hit some drop shots to anderson because anderson actually he never comes to the net that often so he's gonna do that he's gonna make anderson move around a lot whereas anderson he's still gonna hit up hit up serve bombs he's definitely gonna do that he might hit a few winners but it's really hard to be arrow free against Djokovic. And yeah, so I think Djokovic will take it because he's going to be too good. Hitting one or hitting aces, um, coming to the net and ending points there. Hitting drop shots against Anderson, you know, making Anderson move around. So it'll just be too much for Anderson in the first set. Whereas in the second set, Djokovic is just going to maintain the same thing. Hit one or hit aces, you know, make Anderson move around a lot. Make Anderson come to the net. And points with volleys. He's just gonna keep doing that because like obviously Anderson he doesn't he doesn't change that much. You know what I mean? Like he's not unpredictable at all. He's basically his strategy is just like keep whacking balls from the baseline. So he never does a drop shot, he never comes to the net. So Jokovic will use that against Anderson. And whereas Anderson he also will be doing pretty good as well. You know, he's gonna serve up um bombs. He's gonna, his serve is gonna be really good. He's gonna hit a lot of winners. Um he's gonna try to hit powerful Shots to Djokovic, but either way, Djokovic will go defensively and keep rallying with Anderson as well. If it comes to that point where Anderson is just like dictating the rallies, and Djokovic will win the second set. And the third set, I think all Djokovic needs to do is that like, hit a few winners. He needs to maintain a serve, but mostly he just needs to like make Anderson move, run, and rally with him a lot. And eventually, I think Anderson, I mean, he's gonna serve serve really well. He's gonna hit a lot. He hit a lot of winners throughout the whole match. But I think eventually Anderson will start hitting unforced errors, and you know, like if Djokovic keeps rallying with him, and yeah, eventually Djokovic will take the match. So yeah, this is my prediction. Uh, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications. Guys, I'd really appreciate it if you guys liked, subscribed, and turned on those notifications. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.